We're excited to introduce you to the middle school electives offered by Time for Learning. Time for Learning offers the following elective courses for middle school students, computer science, online learning and digital citizenship, environmental science, intro to art, and lifetime fitness. Electives offer an enriched learning experience, and when combined with main subjects, they can help support a well-rounded education. And did you know that the skills your child learns, like problem solving and critical thinking, can be applied to their academic courses and beyond? Let's get started. We'll begin with a lesson from our middle school computer science course, which introduces students to programming and covers the foundations of computer science, including information about hardware and software, networks, and troubleshooting. This particular lesson focuses on designing devices like computers and probes. Students explore the steps of two important design processes used by computer engineers and designers to develop new products. All lessons throughout this course are organized in the same way. They begin with an instruction activity that students can read independently or have read aloud for them. The instruction activities include a list of objectives and vocabulary for the lesson, as well as many engaging video scenarios. This helps students relate what they've learned to real world situations like the one shown here, where a student uses the design processes they just learned about to create an imaginary computer. Throughout the lesson, students respond to questions and engage in other activities to check their understanding. At the end of each lesson, students will review what they've learned before taking a quiz. Each unit or chapter in the course features at least one project where students are asked to further investigate a topic or apply what they've learned. The project for this chapter on devices has students designing their own probe. Next, we're checking out online learning and digital citizenship, which teaches students essential study skills for learning in the digital age, including researching online, using technology safely and securely, and delivering effective presentations. She was able to effectively take notes, whether she was going to an in-class review or reading from a textbook. So with her notes, she was able to go into her exams feeling confident and prepared, and she passed with flying colors. You've done some great work so far towards answering your lesson question. How can you apply your note-taking skills? This lesson focuses on developing note-taking skills and teaches students how to apply these new skills to various subjects and academic needs. Now remember our student that's preparing for her exams. Now she knows the best methods that she can use for different subjects and for the different mediums she'll be using to prepare. But there's still some more tips we can provide to help her take notes even more effectively, including using a highlighter tool like the one you see in this digital text. So now you're going to learn more about some note-taking tools that can help you to take better notes. Let's move on to the world of art. Intro to Art covers art appreciation and the history of art, and sparks students' creativity as they learn about design, media, and techniques. The study of art history will answer many questions we have about human nature and the world in which we live. So let's take a look at some objectives today. By the end of this lecture today, you will be able to summarize the main questions the study of art history will answer. Weaving is the process, as we said, of basically connecting fibers together to make a piece of cloth. And this is useful for clothing or tapestries or carpets and so forth. Themes include photography, film, video, and digital imagery, including lessons on special effects and animation like the one seen here. Now this example here is a maquette of my own because in fact, I've worked as an animator for about five years, mostly on things like video games. But every day I'm still having to use traditional art skills even though I have the computer to help me out. At any time, the lessons within these courses may be played back for review, and once the student has already viewed the instruction, they have the ability to fast forward to the portion they would like to watch again. Closed captioning is available too. Now, let's jump into another elective course, Environmental Science. During the online content activities, sometimes referred to as e-resources, students are prompted to read relevant and appealing text related to the topics being covered. Here, in this course, students will read an article about aquatic habitats and then respond to the article by writing about some of the major similarities and differences between freshwater and marine ecosystems. One of the best features of these courses is that all texts are conveniently included as links. There's no need to buy additional text. And while reading and thinking about text, students have access to the Tools tab. This feature provides a tool set that gives students important vocabulary building and note-taking opportunities.
Our last featured elective is Lifetime Fitness. Like many of the electives, Lifetime Fitness includes journal activities, such as this one from the Food and Health segment. Here, students make real-world connections by synthesizing what they've learned with what they know from their own personal experiences. In this activity, students are asked to consider whether they think it's possible to stay healthy and become physically fit without taking nutrition into account. These journaling opportunities really help students solidify their learning by connecting new knowledge to their own lives. This concludes the middle school electives demonstration. Please select another demo video to watch, or if you'd like to learn more about how Time for Learning works, take a look at our How It Works page. Goodbye.